Yeah. Um, and another thing, I need somebody to hold the time because it will be an improvised piece. And uh, yeah, great. <laughs> so yeah, I have ten minutes. <laughs> and yeah, so I am the ending. This is my title. Uh, all inclusive? Question mark? Question mark? And I was set to make an, uh, an improvised performance, and I was like, okay, how can I improvise and express myself, but simultaneously? Uh, create a common language with the um, people who are watching this performance. So, uh, how can I give them enough information to uh, understand what they see and not be just kind of lost in what they see? And another thing, uh, I, I for inclusive is also that I want to have. Uh, active um, uh, audience in the sense that I want to not just passive, I, I don't want you to passive watch me, uh, I want you to kind of, I want to feel respected, uh, I want to like communicate with you. Alright, so I chose to, to give you the like four basic information thingies which are coming from Alito Alessi which is a choreographer and pioneer in the inclusive dance. Uh, one of his main points is sensation. So when I am dancing I, I make a move and I have a sensation. I, like I feel what what is the quality of this movement. Like it gives me a certain feeling. And the same to you I make a movement and it might create a sensation to the person who is watching the movement. So one thing is the sensation. Uh, another thing is the relationship. Uh, so when we're moving, we're creating relationships. So one relationship is the relationship, of course, when I am moving, I'm creating a relationship to my body, to myself, but I'm creating a relationship to the space, and I'm creating a relationship to you. Um, another thing is time. So I have the time frame of 10 minutes, obviously, but then you also have the time that you're a uh, place a role while you're moving. So, very simple an example is like whether you're moving slow or fast or not moving. Like this would be like an example of time. I mean, oh sorry. <laughs> uh, and then we have design. Can you all see what I'm? Okay, uh, so we also have the design. So it's obviously, I'm standing here, so there's already, already a design of the space, uh, which is these posters. And I have this floor, which is this floor. <laughs> the, the color of the floor and the texture of it and stuff like that. But also I have the design, I have the publicum, publicum German, here. <laughs> so this is another design, but also, I create the design while I am moving. So if I'm standing here, or if I'm standing here, it's a totally different design um, of the space. So basically, these are the four main pillars that we very simple. Um, when I will be moving, I want you to search for this pillar. This will be like your guidelines to, uh, you can also feel free to sense or like, let your imagination and get much more information. But if you get lost, try to like search this stuff. Uh, yeah, one thing is that, and also I want to invite you uh, to uh, change also the perspective of what you see and how and play with this stuff by changing the posture um, of 
where you're standing and of your body. For example, you can play also with the distance between me and what relationship, for example, how it changes the relationship between us or with the space. Uh, or the design of the space, or you can even play with the different layers. Um, so we have the upper level, you can go like in the middle level and see what is changing, you can go down and watch. You can even change the direction that you're watching, like look from down, up, or look sideways, or like just turn your back to me and like just play with the sounds or whatever. Uh, so this is what basically we will be doing, I will be moving <laughs> and you will be basically playing with all these elements and with this task of changing your um, body uh, as well and see how this uh, affects the whole setting. Another thing, the last thing before I start moving, because I could not um, mention the word inclusion <laughs> uh, without thinking of uh, people with disabilities. And I want to, I know that there's, is anybody here with a, with a visible disability? I have a lot of disabilities, by the way, but <laughs> I mean, I wanted to also create a space which it would be also inclusive for any people, any kind of people. So let's say I chose this space because it's accessible for a wheelchair and I will be moving without music so somebody with a hearing impairment it doesn't change the influences. The only thing is what if somebody is blind for example, how could I include him in this performance? This would be like, feel anybody, any kind of is it the timer? No. <laughs> okay. So um, I would have this person uh, in the space and then he could hear my uh, movements or my breath. So this is one information or you could even have a um, physical contact to this person. So this would be also possible. Another thing that I also want to invite one person of you to do that, if somebody wants is to describe the movements. So this could be like, you can go like, okay, in, she's initiating from the fingers, going up with the uh, arm, or you can describe the movement with just sounds. Like, for example, if somebody wants to, for example, I'm moving now to a... Uh, yeah, yeah, do, do, go, 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 go for it, okay. Let's go. So, yeah, yeah. You're describing the movement, eh? I'm not sure if I'm describing your sound or you're describing my movement. Okay. Okay, you want to be the volunteer? I'll take you. Okay. So, I'll start. Feel free to change positions, change your um, point of views. And you will be the god that reach. <laughs> okay? So let's go. <laughs>
sounds. <laughs> 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 